can anyone um, uh, please respond i can ask one question what is mean by accounts group can you elaborate anyone accounts group anyone please please my dear students Yeah. So we classify accounts uh, according to their nature, uh, mm -hmm. accounts group. Good, very good. Everyone, <clears throat> what happened here? Concentrate it, everyone. Just I, I am briefly explaining accounts group once again. Briefly explaining accounts group once again. Why? Because you try, try to understand. Accounts group means, accounts group means, classify the GLs or classify the accounts. For example, here we will create some accounts group. Example, uh, sundry creditor and sundry debitors, whatever, blah, 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 etc. So example, tax receivable and tax payable. And here we will example, uh, you know, here share capital. In the share capital, we can give one number from this number to this number. Under this, we can create Ramesh Capital, Suresh Capital, Mohan Capital, Priya Capital, like that. So this is the number we're going to reflect. Means what you people want to understand? Accounts group is classify the GL accounts. During the accounts group, we will create one number range. This number range will reflect it when you create the GL. Are you clear so far for this accounts group? Any doubts? In the global parameters, we discuss this accounts group. Please respond. Yes, no, okay. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. yes. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note. Put the heading of document type and number ranges and note it on one note. Document type is document type is everyone note it down everyone document type is classify the accounting entries simple answer everyone document type type is classify the accounting entries Classify the accounting entries. For every document type, for every document type, we will assign one number range every document type we will assign one number range put comma that number range will reflected that number range will reflected when you post the accounting entry, when you post the accounting entry, Next, next line note it down. Next line note it down. Based on the document type, based on the document type, we will recognize, we will recognize the accounting entry. 
we will recognize the accounting entry is this vendor invoice customer invoice vendor payment customer payment gl payment what is this what is this accounting entry based on the document type okay based on the document type we will recognize the accounting entry Everyone, let, let's uh, listen carefully, everyone. And just see my screen, everyone. Let's see my screen. Uh, note it down. One more line item, you can note it down. One more point, important point. <clears throat> In the standard SAP, next line, note it down. Next line, next line, note it down. In the standard SAP, we have... In the standard SAP, we have... We have 58, 58 standard document types. In the SAP, we have 58 standard document types. 58 standard document types. Fifty eight standard document type. Fifty eight standard document type. Everyone, let's see my screen, everyone. The very important, everyone. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Example, everyone, concentrate here. Go on mute. Guys, go on mute. Venkat, please go on mute, sir. Please. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Uh, SA. SA, one document type. For GL postings. Example for GL posting. Example, uh, uh, KR, one document type. For vendor invoice posting, vendor invoice posting, concentrate here, concentrate here, everyone, concentrate here. <clears throat> Example uh, for uh, DZ, uh, DR, one document type, what is this? This is called uh, customer invoice posting, customer invoice posting. Now, everyone, concentrate here, concentrate here, everyone. Example, I am telling. Concentrated everyone. What is meant by KR? KR boleto vendor invoice posting. DR boleto customer invoice posting. Here, here I'm I'm specifying one number range. Example, example I'm telling. For every document type, I'm assigning one number range. Example, one double zero zero two two double zero zero. And uh, here uh, 20012 zero, zero, Example, everyone. Example, everyone. Concentrate here. <clears throat> so, concentrate here, everyone. If you post, if you post vendor invoice during the vendor invoice posting, you want to specify document type KR document type kr example example if you post any any vendor invoice expenses account data to vendor you want to specify this vendor in kr document type what happened what happened everyone note it on one note everyone note it on one note one point note it down next line note it down if you post uh, Saurabhji, please go on mute, sir. You joined late, but you're disturbing. Please join. Go more mute, mute, sir. <clears throat> if you post 
any accounting entry if you post any accounting entry one number will going to generate it one number will be going to generate it that number reflected from that number reflected from document type number range document type number range document type number range For example, everyone, for example, if I post vendor invoice, what is the number will reflect it? Thousand. If I post customer invoice, which number will be reflected? Anyone? 2001. 2001. 2001. Again, I posted vendor invoice. Which number? 1001. 1001. 1001. Again, I posted vendor invoice. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. One number will be going to generated. That number will reflected from this number range. Which number range? Document type number range. Document type number range. Everyone, in the SAP, we have 58 standard document types. We are not required to create new document types. Even in the real time also, we will use standard only. In case if you want to create, there is an option I will show you, but not required. Better, uh, can you please note it down this? Example, example, SA, GL posting, and uh, AB, reversal document, reverse document posting, reverse document posting. And, uh, KR, vendor invoice posting, vendor invoice, and uh, KG, sorry, sorry, KR, and KG, vendor credit memo posting, memo posting, and uh, KZ, vendor payment posting, payment posting. And uh, K, K A, vendor document posting, and uh, here vendor invoice posting, vendor invoice posting. Note it down, everyone. Note it down. And uh, here uh, D A, customer document posting, customer. And DR customer customer invoice posting and uh, DG uh, DG customer customer credit memo posting. And uh, DZ DZ customer payment portion and uh, AA asset document posting and uh, AF 
डिप्रिशिएशन पोस्टिंग डिप्रिशिएशन डिप्रिशिएशन पोस्टिंग कैन यू प्लीज नोट इट ऑन दिस एवरीवन दिस इज द डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप्स बेसिकली वी हैव स्टैंड फिफ्टी एट स्टैंडर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप इज देयर वी नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप्स दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड एक्शन एस ए जी एल पोस्टिंग ए बी रिवर्स डॉक्यूमेंट पोस्टिंग एंड के आर वेंडर इनवाइस पोस्टिंग के जी वेंडर क्रेडिट मेमो पोस्टिंग के जेड वेंडर पेमेंट पोस्टिंग के ए वेंडर डॉक्यूमेंट पोस्टिंग डी ए कस्टमर डॉक्यूमेंट पोस्टिंग डी आर कस्टमर इनवाइस पोस्टिंग डी जी कस्टमर क्रेडिट मेमो पोस्टिंग डी जेड कस्टमर पेमेंट पोस्टिंग देन ए ए असेट डॉक्यूमेंट पोस्टिंग एंड ए एफ डिप्रिशिएशन पोस्टिंग Done. Noted, everyone. Yes, sir. Done. So, uh, yeah. Uh, can you please read the note, everyone? Please, in case of in anything missing, I can. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Go ahead. Your voice is not audible, ma'am. Everyone are able to hear Swarna voice? No, sir. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, Bargavi, ma'am, you can read. Yes, sir. Uh, document type and number ranges. Document type is classify the doc accounting entries. For every document type, we will assign one number range. That number range will re uh, reflect it when you post the accounting entries. Based on the document type, we will recognize the document entry. For example, when vendor invoice, customer invoice, etc. In the standard SAP, we have fifty-eight standard document types. If you post any accounting entry, one number will be generated. That number reflects from document type number ranges. Okay. Uh, do you want to examples or so? Ah, that's fine, ma'am. That's fine. <clears throat> everyone, I'm repeating one second. Everyone, I'm repeating one second. For example, based on the document type, based on the document type, we will recognize the accounting entry. Example, example, everyone. Whatever accounting entry have KR document type, that is called vendor invoice. Whatever accounting entry have KZ document type, that is called vendor payment. Whatever document, whatever accounting entry. Sorry, I'm repeating. Sorry, it's my bad. Whatever accounting entry, whatever accounting entry have KR document type, that is called vendor invoice. Whatever accounting entry. Have KZ document type that is called vendor payment. 
वाट एवर अकाउंटिंग एंट्री हेव एस डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप दट इज कॉल जी एल पोस्टिंग मीन एक्सापल एक्सापल ऑल द थिंग्स एक्सापल ऑल द थिंग्स सो बेस्ड ऑन द डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप we will recognize the accounting entry this accounting entry belongs to what what is this accounting entry is this vendor invoice customer invoice vendor payment gl payment reversal how we will recognize so based on the document type we will recognize the accounting entry so this accounting document type we will specified during the accounting entry posting during the accounting entry posting so every document type we are going to assign one number range that number range will reflected when you post the accounting entry when you post the accounting entry in the sap in the sap if you post any type of accounting entry any accounting entry if you post any accounting entry one number will going to generate it. that number will reflected from this number range this number range okay do you got everyone yes no okay any doubts yes sir got it understood sir ha boliye sir ji i was saying understood understood ah very good appreciate please join on time sir ji tomorrow onwards Yes. Ah. Huh? Okay. Everyone, <laughs> concentrate, everyone. Uh, go on mute. Go on mute. Now, so we have standard document types. We don't want to create new document types. And what is the path? And what is the number ranges? What is the path? And uh, what is the number ranges? and uh, first one define document type for entry view very 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 important t code ob a7 ob a7 very 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 important t code everyone um i want to share uh, one one sweet memory everyone maybe not now some years back i want to share one one memory actually uh not now some years back uh, some years back very long back um after me uh, i also learn sap you know some years back almost 9 years back okay 9 uh, years back almost after i mean i learn sap 9 years back then i attended one interview my first interview my first interview after completing self introduction first interview first question explain about document type and number ranges <laughs> this is very sweet memory question actually first interview 9 years back first interview first question ah uh, first question obviously tell me about yourself if you go any interview tell me about yourself after that technical point of view first question first interview explain about document type and number ranges very 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 important even 10 years back or now 5 years back or now in the future any time this is the very 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 important just understand the first you try to understand how to analyze the document type how to create the number ranges then later in the later during the accounting entry posting i will show you how it can be reflected document number where you will going to specify the document type each and everything i will show you okay first in the configuration level you try to understand example especially gl document types now vendors will come later in accounts payable customers will come later in the accounts receivable assets will come asset document types will come later in the asset accounting okay so now today we will discuss gl document type 
GL document type. Okay. So, <coughs> so everyone, so concentrate here, everyone. Yeah, this is the path, everyone. Document type entry view. So, SPRO, financial accounting new, financial accounting global setting new, and document, document type. Everyone, hey Krishna, go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Select here financial accounting new and the financial accounting global setting document document type and the number ranges. Guys, can you please note it on this? Can you please note it on this? First, you can note it on these three things, everyone. Note it on the path, financial accounting new, financial accounting global setting, document, document type. Note it on these three steps, everyone. Define document type for entry view. Define document type for entry view in a ledger. Define document type for the general ledger view. Note it down. Just head headings note it down for the clarification purpose. What we are going to configure in just headings. Define document type for entry view. Define document type entry view in a ledger. Define document type for the general ledger view. Done, everyone. Note it. Yes. Yeah. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. My first step, my first step, everyone, come to this part. Finan Let's listen careful, everyone. Listen careful. Financial accounting new, financial accounting global setting new, document and document type. Document and document type. So you just double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. And example, example, uh, let it be example. I'm I'm telling example. DR customer invoice, DJ customer credit memo. Uh, sorry, DG customer credit memo, DJ customer payment. Like this, all the document types is available. Example, if you go down, if you go down. Even KR, KG, everything is available. KR, vendor invoice, KZ, vendor payment. Same way in the GL also. We want now, now we want SA, SA, document type. What is the purpose of SA? GL accounting document. Document means accounting entry. Okay, GL accounting entry postings. What is this? Yes, A. What is the number range? Two digit? Zero one. Zero one. This we'll discuss later. Example, what is the standard document type? Yes, A. Double click on this. Here you can find out number range zero one. Okay, let it be. Yes, A zero one. Yes, A zero one. And uh, one more, one more also we want. 
use page up a b a b means reversal postings for example sometime we can reverse the accounting entry i will tell you some uh, we have separate topic actually how to post the reverse the accounting entry how to post reversal accounting entry what is the purpose of reversal accounting entry why reversal accounting entry everything will come okay post to try to understand the document type so a b we can use to reverse the accounting entry so what is the number range number range is 0 to number range is 0 to number range is a b 0 to the next what we created everyone in the during the number range creation during the number range creation 0 1 example 0 1 0 0 0 0 2 0 1 uh, 0 9 9 9 9 9 this is the number range and uh, a b here i am creating 0 2 0 0 0 0 2 2 0 2 0 9 9 9 9 later i can create this number range so what happened here if you create this number range if you post if you post any gl accounting entries if you post any gl accounting entries this number range will going to reflect it if you post any accounting entry reversal if you post any reversal accounting entry we can sometimes we can reverse the accounting entry that time this number range will going to generate this number range will going to generate it now i will ask one question for all accounting entries how many views everyone how many views one is anyone entry view and a gl view the gl view all the accounting entries will reflect it. two views one is entry view and one is general ledger view all the accounting entries will reflected how many ledgers not for gl i am asking ledger leading ledger and non leading ledger non -ledger. very good so what is my leading ledger anyone tell me 0 l 0 l is my leading ledger what is my non leading ledger ifrs p7 p7 what is my non leading p8 p8 so what happened here if you post any accounting entry maybe gl accounting entry reversal accounting entry posting customer accounting entries vendor accounting entries asset accounting entries all the accounting entries will reflect it, two views one is entry view and one is gl view and all the accounting entries will reflected in three ledgers G leading ledger one leading ledger two non leading ledger all accounting entries okay so in the first step everyone first step not required to change anything you just go to uh, double click on here double click on this just go to analyze is there or not click on your position yes a let's check it out yes a double click on here zero one don't change anything just go and check it out okay and uh, a b and this one everyone once again i will have some water don't change anything everyone i can ask one question how many standard document types is there everyone you noted one note 58 are able to see here 58 here are able to see my cursor point everyone 58 Okay, 58 standard document types is there. One second, everyone. I will have some water.
Yeah. The next one. Next one. Everyone. Concentrate here, everyone. Are, are you there, everyone? Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Next one. Next one. Define document type for entry view in a ledger. So you just double click on here. You just double click on here. Double click on here. What is your non-leading ledger, everyone? One is P7. I'm giving P7. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. You just come to this path. Financial accounting new. Financial accounting global setting. Document, document type. Define document type for entry view in a ledger. Non-leading ledger. You just double click on this execute button. Now here it will asking non what is your ledger. Here I'm giving P7. Click on here OK. And click on your new entry. Yes, A 98. A B 98. Press enter and save. Sir, what is this? What is the purpose of 98? In the P7 non-leading ledger, you are giving yes, yes, A document type 98. A B 98. Why? Why you are giving this number? Everyone, I can ask one second. I can ask one question. If I post any accounting entry, please respond, everyone. Please respond. If I post any accounting entry, how many ledgers should be reflected? One is first one. Leading ledger. Leading ledger. Zero L. No. Zero L. Zero L. Seven H. Seven P seven and P eight. Now you can understood, everyone. Everyone, concentrate here. Very important. Concentrate here. <clears throat> now, you are the Wipro employee. You are the Wipro employee as a consultant. And PM group of companies, your client. PM group of companies, your client. Now, your client is send one request. What is the request? Your client is send one request, everyone. Concentrate here. Very important. Your client is send one request. <clears throat> Hi, my dear consultant. If I post any accounting entry, it will reflect in three ledgers. Okay, it's fine. But I want to post one, one adjustment accounting entry for the reconciliation purpose. Some accounting entry, some XYZ accounting entry want to reflect only in the p7 i will show you during the accounting entry posting i will show you how the accounting entry reflected in three ledgers but now scenario is the client want to post one accounting entry any accounting entry some xyz accounting entry that accounting entry want to reflected only P7. That time, which number range will going to generate it? That time, 98 number range will going to generate it. In case, in case, accounting entry want to reflected in the three ledgers, one leading ledger and two non-leading ledger, that time, 0, 1 will going to reflect it. When the accounting entry want to reflect only in the P7, 98 will going to generate. 98 will going to generate. Then click on your save and back. Sir, now I want, I want to reflect the accounting entry only P8. So which number range will going to generate? One step back, one step back. Everyone concentrate here. Everyone, concentrate here, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. So come to this path. Double click on this execute button. Now you can give P8. Click on your OK. And click on your new entry. SA 99, AB 99. Press enter and save. So what is this? P8. 
for this number range. So when this nine, nine year, for example, year, I'm giving 98 and 99. When you post the accounting entries, when whenever you want to post the accounting entry, that accounting entry want to reflect only P8. The accounting entry don't want to reflect 0L and P7. I want to reflect the accounting entry only in the P8. That time, this number range will going to generate it. This number range will going to generate it. 99. Guys, 98 and 99 is the standard. You want to take same number range. 98 and 99 is the standard. 97, 97097090999 and 90 sorry 98 right 98 98 98 0000 okay this number range want to reflect it this number range want to create so what is the purpose of 98 98 purpose is when you post the accounting entry want to reflect it only in the p7 that time 98 will going to reflect only in the p8 99 will going to reflect for the non leading ledgers purpose the leading one and two will go into it. Okay. So click on your save one back. So whatever activity you did in the second step, same activity you want to do for the third step. Same activity. Double click on this. I'm repeating once again. Come to this path. Whatever activity you did in the second step, same activity you do, want to do in the third step. Double click on your P7, click on your OK, and click on your new entry. SA 98, AB 98. Enter and save. And again, double click on your P8, click on your OK, new entry, SA 99, AB 99, enter and save. So this is the document types. Then number ranges. In the number ranges, one is in the number ranges, one is entry view and one is general ledger view. This is the path, everyone. Financial accounting new, financial accounting global setting new, document, document number range, first entry view. You want to create the number range for entry view. You want to create the number range for general ledger view. Two views, two views. One is entry view. Can you please note it down this everyone? Define document number range for entry view. FB N1. Please note it down this step. Not required path, just note it down this heading. Define document number range for entry view. Done, then just heading, not required, only one DCD. So come to this part, double click on the everyone. Concentrate here, everyone. Very important, guys. Very important. 
double click on this execute button and what is your company code anyone company code pm10 pm10 i'm giving my company code pm10 click on your uh, intervals the first one first one 01 physical year 2023 Zero one zero 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 one zero nine nine nine. Then uh, click on your add. Zero two twenty twenty three and twenty twenty three financial year or physical year. Zero two zero 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 two zero nine nine nine. Enter. Then uh, ninety eight ninety eight. Twenty twenty three, ninety eight zero 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 ninety eight zero nine nine nine. When the ninety eight number range will reflected, when you want to post the accounting entry only in the non leading ledger, especially IFRS or whatever. And uh, click on your add ninety nine twenty twenty three ninety nine zero 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 ninety nine zero nine nine nine. Enter and save. This is the number ranges. Number range for entry view. Number range for entry view. This is the number range available. Okay. Click on your save and back. the next one everyone next one define document number range in entry view can you please note it down this step everyone define document number range for general ledger view one is entry view one is general ledger view please note it down this define document number range for general ledger view means number range you people want to create for entry view for general ledger view why because all the accounting entries have two views one is entry view and one is general ledger view entry view purpose my number ranges general ledger view purpose my number ranges same number ranges you want to create done noted everyone yes yes sir and double click on this execute button same company code pm10 click on your change interval and 01202301000910999 then uh, click on your add 02 Twenty twenty three zero two zero 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 two zero zero two zero nine nine nine. Then click on your add ninety eight twenty twenty three ninety eight zero 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 ninety eight zero nine nine nine. Then one more add ninety nine. Twenty twenty three ninety nine zero 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 ninety nine zero nine nine. Press enter. Same number as you can create. Document type and number ranges. So even this number range is everyone. Zero one zero two ninety eight and ninety nine. This is the number ranges. Okay. Like this. So five steps I did everyone. everyone number ranges i created two activities define document number ranges for entry view define document number ranges for general ledger view we created number ranges in two times why because all the accounting entries two views entry view and general ledger and uh, in the document type in the document type three steps we required first one is the standard sca ab like that Second one and third one is the we need to specified ninety eight and ninety nine. 
we need to specify 98 and 99. Okay, this is the configuration. Uh, now time to ask the questions. Sir, I have one question. Uh, speak louder, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So uh, we define the document type for general ledger view, hmm. right? So for leading ledger, it's uh, for zero, it's five, 58 document type. So for uh, general ledger view, we are defining only S, A, and A, B, hmm. like 98, 99. So it's going to be only two or all the 58? No, no. <laughs> the thing is, the standard is 58 standard document type is there, but we don't want to require 58. We don't want to all the 58. Okay. Ah, uh, Heyman, sir, please go on mute, sir. Why are you disturbing, sir? Sorry, sir. Please go on mute, sir. In the standard, we require 58 standard document type is there, but we don't want all the 58 document types. We require only these document types. For GL purpose, these two document types. For AP purpose, these document types. For AR purpose, this document type. For asset accounting purpose, this document type is there, but we don't want to use. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe her question is suppose if we create uh, if we take one more document type like uh, suppose if we take KR. Hmm. So uh, how the number ranges will be? That might be that uh, her question. KR will come later. KR will come on the accounts table. Don't worry about that. Don't be in a hurry, hurry. Now we are discussing GL. You can create this. This is will come in the accounts table. Not required now. This is AP. This will come later. AP accounts payable. This will come later. AR accounts receivable. This is AR. Okay. It will come later. AR. This is the GL. GLs. Okay. This is the GL. Now we are we are in GL stage now. Okay. okay. This is an asset accounting. This is an asset accounting. It will also will come later. Okay. This required in the GL accounting entry postings. This required in the accounts payable entry postings. This reco required in the accounts receivable posting. This required in the asset accounting posting. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think yeah. it's clear. Next question. If my company is uh, maintaining the standard ledger, that is uh, legal ledger means we have to do all the steps. Ah, you have to do all the steps, madam. Answer is yes. For uh, standard uh, leading ledger, sir, only for leading ledger. Ah, that time zero one will reflect it, madam. I will show you during the accounting entry post. Which number will going to reflect it? How? If I post three ledgers, which number will going to reflect it? If I post specific ledger, which number will going to reflect it? Even in the 0L, P7, P8, how it can be reflected? I will show you, ma'am, okay, during the accounting entry posting. Next question. Guys, can you speak louder? Huh? Next question, please. Uh, do you have any doubt? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Suppose if I take uh, any other, like uh, here, GL type uh, document type SA, AB is there. Suppose uh, suppose if I take one more document type, so the, the number will be now it is 98 and 99, hmm. uh, the range which I have given. Hmm. If I take one more GL uh, type document type, means uh, what standard uh, number I have to give? One more document type, Bolita. Here, GL SA type is there, AB type is there. One mm. more GL document type, I am asking. Is there any other uh, GL document type that uh, other than SA and AB? Why other, other either not required? Not required, okay. You want to use standard, SA, standard, that's it. Okay. Even real time also we use uh, standard. Any end user? Any end user? Anyone yes, in sir. our class? Yeah, yes, sir. I am end user. <laughs> Venkat, you are end user. You are using same document types? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, but I have a different types of huh? documents. 
in my I, i'm in i'm in ap sir only pay, payable so i won't guys this is the standard document types so you can use this one only okay answer is yes sir in my company mm -hmm. i have different uh, customized in case if you want different types. you can create and you can assign number range then how we will choose the number yes, range sir, during the accounting entry posting whatever document type you specified that document type and that number range will going to reflect it are you got so far during the accounting entry posting example during the accounting entry posting whatever document type you specified that document type that number range will going to reflect it it may be any but in the gl accounting entry posting we need to specify this is this a standard example vendor invoice posting if i specified kr and kr document type and kr number range will going to reflect it no sir i don't want to specify kr i specified other thing that other document type and other number range will going to reflect it got so far everyone yeah yes sir thanks everyone thanks for joining and uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have the class okay this week i give two holidays now that thing i can cover in the weekends okay bye everyone bye thank you okay bye 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 bye